the great master also Chandra Kirti. When he wrote this famous book, as again Kenji Padishari Rinpoche takes quotations often, often that. He's the Chandra Kirti. He was one of the great masters in the Buddhist histories. He didn't praise it to the Buddha, to the Bodhisattva, to the Arhatas, to anyone. He praised the compassion at the beginning of his famous book, Mademaka Avatar, or Woman and Jukai. He said that all this, this, this Buddha came from where? It's come from Buddha, come from compassion. Where Bodhisattvas come from? They come from compassion. Where Arathas come from? It's compassion. And that compassion without any discrimination, division. That is the what I pay homage to that. I go to the source of all this beautiful realization. Call it comes from is the compassion of the non-attachment, no grasp, and I, I homage to this. That's what the great master this Tachanakarti said. This compassion, if we put more kind of uh, the division like that, I mean, this is we're practicing now, learning. We practice. We're going to practice this. This that's called compassion. That is focus to the sentient beings. And focus to the sentient beings, beings, we wish everyone is great and joy. And everyone is going to many different challenges. As I said before, and you know, we all know, this is nothing secret, nothing mystery. Only some certain people know and others don't know. It's truly, everybody knows. Everybody is going all <coughs> Therefore, feel compared to everyone. Wish to everyone good things. Remove all the suffering, the difficult troubles to every living being. And even they're looking, searching for the joy and peace, happiness, these sentient beings, due to their ignorance, due to the, our ignorance, we spoil, we destroy. Even if we want the joy and peace, the very cause of that joy and peace, happiness, sometimes we mishandle it, we lost it, we destroy it. That's what the great master Shanti Deva said in his teachings. Even you have the heart, like to be happy, the joy, and all that, but through the ignorance, we destroy. How pathetic, how alas that is. Therefore, feel great compassion to all the sentient beings and wish and do this praise of the, the four boundless practices. Those are the tools and the methods these great teachers left for us. We should pick up those tools and methods and glorify them and re-strengthen our practice and meditation with four boundless practices for ourselves to the others. Then, what are we doing? Then we are doing really meaning for our lives. We will be happy, we will be joy, we will be peaceful. Our life will be, have some meaning. Meaning, something, another dimension. Even if we have a lot of meanings in the life on the surface, but this is something more meaningful in the deeper levels. So that is known as the compassion that directly connects with the sentient beings. Second compassion is known as the compassion understanding of the meaning of the nature of this phenomenon. Phenomenon. That is the more deeper. That means everything is in the subject of the permanent or they are in permanent status. All these beings, we all are like dream beings. We are like dreams. Whether we recognize, whether we don't recognize, whether we highlight, whether we don't highlight, we are dreams, dream beings. How these dreams are, and kind of thinking of that with great compassion, relaxing that nature, whole universe and everything is in that status. It's just like magic, dream, mirage status. Bring up that natural quality and soften our regiment thought of, of the grasping clings. Relax that. That is known as the compassion <coughs> of the nature of the film. Third compassion is compassion of absolute truth. Then, no focus, no grasping, no clinging. That is known as beyond the conceptions. Feel great compassion in our heart and mind to all beings, and then relax our mind in the present state of nature. Relax. Relax that. 
And there is no object, no subject, no action. Let transcendent our activities and our conceptions of three, these three phases. Phases. Relax in the present status. That is known as absolute compassion. Absolute compassion. <coughs> or sometimes in teaching said, compassion that has no discrimination, no focal point. It went beyond. And that blended completely with the great Western energies. That is very relaxing, very refreshing, very soothing and calming. We don't have to blow out the thinking all this differently. Just let it be in the natural state, as it is. That is third, compassion. And now that great compassion, when appeared in the poems, appeared in the form and the deity, then that is known as great Avalokiteshwara. Our Lokteshwara is the great compassion, absolute compassion of the Buddha Amitabha, absolute compassion of the Guru Pema Sambhava, appeared in the form of the then our Lokteshwara, or the Chinese, is the compassion, the true compassion, appeared in this form, the deity form. And that, that we all practice, the compassion, appeared in that form. And to help and to all the beings. This compassion is no other than the Amitabha, no other than the Chereze, no other than the Gurupya Masam. All that blended in, in one single state, appeared as the great Chereze. Chereze, who is embodiment of compassion, who is the compassion, our, who well ignited our great inner compassion by the Chereze practices. Meditate. It is in one way is a mirror image of our nature of the deep compassion or the absolute compassion. Appear in that form to rescue our deluded nightmare and nightmare of all, all beings. And that creates compassion. And here, that is the what we pay homage. We pay homage to the many different levels of understanding of this compassion. In the Chinese level, as deity level, absolute level, and then after all, the great compassion. Compassion that is framed strongly in our heart, in our mind. mind. 